Mr Speaker. If the Prime Minister had bothered to go to the Northern Ireland border, he would know the genuine fear that people there, there feel about his proposals, which they see will result in physical infrastructure for the border, whether that is actually on the border or, as he euphemistically puts it, at some other point in the supply chain. His plans there have been denounced as the worst of both worlds. So will the Prime Minister now go to the Northern Ireland border and listen to the people and communities there? Or does he just not care? Yeah. Yeah. Mr. Mr. Speaker, I, uh, of course, understand the concerns of the uh, of people on both sides of the of the Northern Irish border, and indeed across this country. That's why we are absolutely determined not to have any kind of uh, infrastructure checks at the border or near the border. As I explained to to my right honourable friend, they are they are not they are not necessary. And may I? Uh, invite her also to support these proposals and perhaps she could uh, ask her, uh, her Liberal Democrat colleagues uh, to retract their letter to Jean-Claude Juncker uh, urging, him, urging him not to agree to a new deal with the British government.